Okay, good morning, everybody. Let's get started. Good morning. We're going to do this week, each day, at 4 o'clock, a half-hour live special, and it'll be concentrating on what's going on in, in what was formerly the Soviet Union. And I realize you're, you're juggling Middle East, but we're going to need either State or White House uh, each day. Blitzer in today? Blitzer's coming back, but he's, Blitzer's putting together a piece on the Soviet nukes, which if he could force that for four, even as a donut, would be perfect. We're going to need some help, and I really want to make a... a make this special something uh, uh, worth crowing about, all right? Thank you. This is the newsroom. This is the heart. This is the middle of where everything happens. This is where all the communications are in the newsroom. This is where we talk to our bureaus around the world. It's really exciting. You know, you're on the phone all the time. You're, you're talking to uh, places in Africa, you know, Australia. You get phone interviews with world leaders and you say, yeah, just hang on another five minutes. And you've got to kind of cajole them to hang in there and you've got to kind of schmooze them and, and keep them going. A lot of schmoozing. This is the international desk. It's here that we coordinate all of our coverage from outside the United States. That's almost 200 people based outside the U.S. It's responsible for coverage of everything from the Gulf War to the crisis in Tiananmen Square to coverage of the Soviet coup. Ingrid, Sven. Ingrid, on our... Hang on just a second. Fabulous producer. He's online with Damascus. Are you, uh... We have a crew there. Are you aware of going to Tripoli? Uh, we're there for the, uh, Terry Anderson hostage Ingrid? release. And, uh, after that, they popped into Ingrid? Beirut, conducted a few interviews. Uh, then I did, okay. discovered that there was some special interest group in Lebanon that was looking for them, so they left. This is CNN's Daybreak. Thank you all very much. This is Business Day. For the conscientious consumer. Are we going to Q-Town or no? Yes, yes. You bring people here to CNN and they are just, their chin drops. They look around and they see the script rippers taking their scripts, uh, the writers going off to get uh, scripts approved, tapes going left and right, and they just wonder how it all comes together. When a major story breaks, it's uh, it's like an earthquake without the feel of the floor under your feet. It's people shouting information to each other. It's us learning from our own air information as rapidly as we can possibly get it out. We've been in events where one of the Mideast leaders uh, was due to come out and make a statement. Uh, the President of the United States was on live on CNN. I could watch the remote. I could see the feet out of the Mideast. We were waiting for this leader to come out, and I could hear CNN on the air in the background. Well, lo and behold, the President of the United States finishes making his statement, and the Mideast leader appears. Because CNN is a 24-hour news operation, it puts us in perfect harmony with the rest of the world. When the markets are closing in Tokyo, they're opening in Europe. The world, after all, is a 24-hour uh, marketplace. It is a 24-hour economy. My guess is CNN is seen in over 150 countries. You'll hear, oh, CNN, we like it. And then they'll start talking to you about, we like you. And you're like, wait, I might need my satellite feed right now. And they're like, well, I really like, you know, Wolf Blitzer or, well, it's all good, but can I have the satellite feed right now? People respond to the cameras. They send their messages, whether it be the plea of citizens in the Baltics as they fought for their independence, knowing that they weren't isolated. Good morning. CNN Morning News. Welcome to News Hour. Nation of the airspace of the Soviet Union. An evil empire. Hello and welcome to our Tuesday show. People, when they watch CNN and they're watching us continuously, they see a story a creep. It's something that accumulates a bit at a time, piece of information. Exclusive to CNN? By piece of information. Exclusive to CNN. Oh, that is great. And they feel part of that process. We've seen that. We've heard it from their phone calls. Hello, this is CNN. I had a woman in California call during the Soviet coup, and it may sound naive, but it but it truly meant something to me. She wanted to know if there wasn't a phone number in the Soviet Union she could call to tell the people how important it was to fight for freedom. Obviously a major malfunction. From the world's financial capital. People were panicking. It's behind you. It is a delayed victory. Bernard Shaw in watching the whole food. I see it as much tonight. The food. We're unique in this respect as we're here all the time. People can come to us on their schedule. We think of what we are doing in a whole different way. The whole design of the control room is made to go on the air uh, now. It has 
led to a democratization of, uh, of information where people uh, in the third world get the same information at the same time that people do in the first one. The hostage live, stories. Live, live TV. Yeah, live, yeah, we can uh, either come up live on a satellite or we can get somebody on the phone immediately, whereas the networks are in a, the other networks are in a football game or something like that, which uh, they're certainly not going to break into. We're all single focus on getting it on the air and uh, until recently single focus on beating the competition. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a lot of competition left. This is news night. Tear down this wall. We need some very quick news without borders. Shot down an Iranian airline. Senator, you're no Jack no Kennedy. The whole sky missile. Welcome to Fast Fire. I need Oman, I need well, Saudi Arabia, I need the White House, I need the Pentagon. We have executive producers and producers who have a vision. Okay, and they express that vision to the crew, sometimes very loudly. Open French's mic. Open French's mic. Talk to him, David. At times it means that people yell at one another. Get the French on the air. Screaming at you. This room is full of people that want to know information desperately so they can tell somebody else. Bernard Shaw and Catherine Cryer, uh, Ralph Begleiter and Charles Bierbauer. Charles Jacob. It's always fun having to wake up a reporter in the middle of the night, too, you know, and something tell happens us, here. And, uh, yeah, there's a coup in your country, so get out of bed and go and cover it. It was as though the people here had been in training for a decade, uh, in training at Tenement Square with baby Jessica in the well, with the San Francisco quake. People are here for the reason that we're doing it and nobody else is doing it, for the reason that we're live, for the reason that we're not doing uh, marshmallow journalism. We're doing the real thing. Most businesses, sooner or later, turn off the lights. Our business never ends. So you never really get that end of the day, hey, that was great, or this or that. You have to sort of pick your moments of victory from the air because it never stops. It just keeps on moving. It's, it's the sun's coming up somewhere all the time. Showbiz today. Hey, this is Star. I will have to retire. He will turn the conversation to a discussion of sexual man. College football preview. Welcome. I'm Mark Levin. My problem is I ran out of bullets. CNN tells me. Good evening from Washington. Read my lips. Saddam Hussein is not with me, gentlemen. It's just CNN. Is-